Hello fellow PC gamers. Today I'm going to do a pretty thorough review of Razer's Six Sense Hydra motion controller. It is the first uh, PC gaming motion peripheral available for now and uh, it's it's pretty neat so I'm gonna give you a pretty uh, pretty good inside look into it and even show you a little bit of gameplay in there just so you can uh, decide whether or not it's for you. Alright, let's get started. Alright, so we're gonna start with a generic overview here of what we're looking at. Uh, this is the entire Reza Hydra. You can see it's not very large. Uh, it's not supposed to be. Uh, these two, con these are your two main primary controllers. They both have motion sensing features. However, uh, most of the features will be used in your right hand. Uh, this is because your right stick, your right joystick, is always used for your um, your uh, view movement. Uh, turning and all that kind of stuff is used with this. Uh, your left one is usually used for gesture controls. Flicking up is your jump, flicking down is your crouch. Uh, left and right can be your weapon switches, etc. Uh, each controller is exactly identical. They don't change at all. Even the curvature and everything is all identical. Uh, the buttons are all the same. Here you'll see you have two triggers. You have your uh, left button, they call it, and your left trigger. So that uh, each one has its dedicated joystick. Um, you'll mostly be using your left joystick more so than your right, which is good because uh, using your right joystick while using the movement can be a little awkward at times. So your left one is for your up, down, left, and right, your, your strafing or strafing. Um, you have a total of five buttons on each uh, controller here. Uh, they can all be set for whatever you want them to be set for, and the joysticks also click in. You can also hear that. Uh, most of the time, these will be your uh, play pause or your uh, view scoreboard kind of thing. Uh, these buttons can be anything from sprint to, uh, I don't know, uh, grenade, that kind of stuff. Uh, <clears throat> one of the, one of the mo uh, main features with the Razor Hydra, since it does work with some titles that aren't uh, necessarily fully supported, you'll find Portal 2 has what they call direct integration of the Razor Hydra. And what this means is that the game can take full advantage of all of the unique hardware capabilities of the Razor Hydra. Um, one of the best examples and most obvious is in Portal 2, where you can actually move your object in and out depending on the position of your joystick. It's, it's really cool. Most games won't have this kind of integration, or at least not yet. They're, they are working on it. They have promised future titles, including Left 4 Dead 2, where you can actually physically swing the melee weapons, which I am particularly looking forward to. That's going to be awesome. Um, so, for other titles that don't have the direct integration, it basically emulates a keyboard and mouse. Uh, what I mean by this is, when you press a button on one of the joysticks, instead of it seeing that as a joystick button press, it'll actually see that as you pressing a button on the keyboard. So a perfect example would be Brink. Brink has the uh, other kind of integration. It's not direct integration. It's just it. It's the emulation. And when you press a button on here, it's gonna. The game is gonna register that as an actual keystroke. So if you want to sprint in Brink instead of it detecting this as the sprint button for a joystick it will instead detect it as shift as you pressing down the shift button which will then result you in sprinting so because of the way this works because it's an emulation and it doesn't actually know anything about the sixth sense technology it can't take advantage of it which is kind of a shame but like i said it's still really new and they have promised titles to include the direct integration like portal 2 does uh, one of which including Left 4 Dead 2. I'm not sure if uh, they'll be including titles from other publishers. I would certainly hope so, especially with newer releases and stuff. Seeing as this is the only motion controlling peripheral, I would think that several publishers would be willing to pick it up and uh, add the integration. I'm sure Sixth Sense makes it pretty easy. Uh, one common uh, mistake with, with these is that um, Razer is the company who basically uh, created the design, the look, and shipping of the product. But Sixth Sense is the company behind the hardware and software magic behind of it. Um, 
you can watch all kinds of tech demos on YouTube if you search Sixth Sense Tech Demo. You'll see other variations of this device, but this is this is the actual device that Razer ended up uh, pulling out, and uh, they did a really good job with it, I think. As far as the actual quality of the build goes, it's pretty impressive. Uh, they have a, a really good feel to them. Uh, they are not too heavy because you don't want them to be too heavy, otherwise it would be a little strain on your wrists after a while. But at the same time, they are sturdy. You can grasp, you can grasp them hard, and they don't bend. They don't make any noise or, or groan or anything like that. Uh, they're very comfortable to hold for long periods of time. I do, I do find myself. I'm really glad that they didn't connect the two controllers. Or at least, I'm glad that they made them as free as they can. You can move these very far apart, the cable's very long. And uh, this is really great because I tend, to use, I tend to hold both the controllers in two very different positions as I, as I play my game. Since this controller typically stays static, um, I find myself holding it higher up. I'm not really sure why, I guess it's just more comfortable for me to... Uh, hold my arm up like this while my, my, while my uh, arm is on the armrest. This one I tend to hold lower down. Again, I'm not sure why. It, it might give me a, a bigger range of motion. Um, I do want to stress something though. Um, you don't want to use too much emphasis with your gestures on, on this joystick. It will eventually hurt your wrists. <laughs> uh, and I know it can be a little difficult when you're in the heat of, of a game to uh, control your, your gestures. But, I mean, if you're really flicking down and flicking up, you don't need to do that. You can make very smooth, minor adjustments. Uh, a lot of times, turning the controller this way will be your reload. Uh, you don't have to go like that. All you have to do is simply tilt it like that. That Even that's far enough. It'll go just fine. Same thing with the other gesture. Flicking it to the left and right, again, it, it requires... The whole point behind this is very minor movements so that you stay comfortable and it's not too stressful on your wrist, which it isn't. In fact, in Brink, I'm, re I'm actually starting to prefer these to the mouse and keyboard, which is, pretty, which is pretty amazing because I am much better with the mouse and keyboard, or at least for now. I've had these for about a week, and I'm not an expert. <laughs> I'm not the best at it, but I am definitely getting a lot better. It has... It doesn't have too big of a learning curve, which is great. I uh, was an early adopter of the uh, NIA, the Neural Impulse Actuator, by uh, OCZ. And uh, that has an extraordinarily steep learning curve. Most of the time I can pick up on that stuff. The NIA I really didn't. I kind of feel like uh, more of a uh, gimmick than anything, but we're not talking about that now. So uh, I think I'm going to jump in the game now and show you the Hydra in action. I did want to point out a couple things before I got started here. You'll see I have my Hydra all set up here. Uh, I've got my controllers hooked into the back here as well as the back hooked into my computer. Um, one thing I wanted to address was the Hydra actually works off of a magnetic field. When you get it, you'll notice that inside this globe area here are a bunch of wires and cables and those create the magnetic field. One of the concerns I had initially was will it hurt my monitor or other objects that I have sitting on my desk and the answer is no. Although it does work off of a magnetic field, it is a very very low magnetic field and there's a reason for that. Uh, because it's such a low magnetic field, it can tell very very precisely the exact location of the controller. This is actually how it determines how far, how close or far away the, this controller is, or either of them for that matter, is to the base. So when you calibrate it, it's going to figure out how far it is by default from the base. And then that's how it knows whether you're moving it forward or backward because of the magnetic field and the magnetic response from these controllers. But, again, it's so minute, it won't hurt any speakers, microphones, monitors, whatever whatever you might have been worried about. That's okay. Uh, one last thing I wanted to say was, although the base does not have to be in front of you at all. It can be way off to the side if you want, but it, uh, although it doesn't have to be close to you at all, you want to make sure that it is actually straight. And what I mean by straight is you'll see there's a line down the middle here, which is emphasized by the glowing edges around there. Uh, and you'll also see the Razer logo on the front. That's how you can tell. Well, anyway, you want that line to be straight, uh, aligned with you and your body. So if you see, if I go forward here, 
then that range of motion is, in, is on the same exact plane as that line that it's drawing there. So I could be doing it over here or over here, it doesn't matter as long as it's in line with that plane when I calibrate it. If you have it like this, off to the side or in another strange orientation, then your, your gesture movement, movements, your flicking and, and your turning and everything, they won't work right, they won't work correctly because it, it has to be in line with this. So right now, if I flick my uh, gesture like that, it's going to be comparing it to this to this plane. So if it's off way like that, then the tiniest little movement to the right is going to do the right gesture. But in order to do the left gesture, I'm going to have to turn around almost all the way in order for it to work. So just a side note, uh, you want to make sure that you keep that line as straight as possible uh, in accordance to the way you're facing. All right, on to the game demo. It's way. A new day is dawn. Cut out the brother's crap! There it We have to get in the coral sample. Soldiers destroy the lab door. <laughs> Today, we strike back! I'll secure the area! Enemy spotted! Cease fire! Cease fire! Multiple enemies spotted! 